Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to model these simple low poly boots, okay? See? Very easy to make and you don't have to think much about it since it's a low poly. Okay, so I don't know how long I've been inactive. I believe it's one week, so I need to adjust my schedule to post more tutorial. <laughs> okay, so let's begin making this uh this boot. Okay, I'm gonna hide. All I have moved this, all this, this, and this into a new collection. So I'm just going to go to here and just go to this size, I believe. Yes, to hide that. And this one is on. Message to hide. Okay, so I'm going to add a new one. Cube, Shift A to add a cube. Oh, I go in Eevee. All right, I'll go to this one. Oh, okay, there we go. Here we are with the basic of the default cube. Okay, I'm going to hide that. So. Let's make the boots. First, I'm going to grab this one, or you can just G Z N one. Okay, so it's on the top of the, uh, the red line and the yellow line. Okay, it's up to you if you want to do that. But for me, yeah, I just do it. Okay, so I don't need face on the top. This one, press delete, delete face. Okay, now you get that empty spot over there. And select this face at the bottom here. Oh, and press O. I'm gonna press one. All right. Make sure to turn the snapping tool on. If you don't want, it's fine as well. You can go something with your with your own measurement. Okay. I'm gonna need this. Okay. I'm gonna press E to extrude. E to Z. Something. Something over here, I believe. No, no, no. Ah, it's all about your liking, okay? And I'm gonna go to the set left. I'm gonna select this one. Press E to the Y. E to the Y, okay? Make sure the line is green, okay? If it's a Z, that is actually the Z. I mean, yeah, okay. Okay, let's move this away. Thing over there. I think it's way too long. No, I don't think it's way too long. Now, there it is, the basic shape of the boot. Okay, now let's add some sub subdivision surface and some solidify, okay? So first I'm gonna add some sub subdivision. Here we are, look at that, got the basic low poly shoe. If you increase it, it could be, it's still a low poly. If you go to this one, this is actually, uh, I think this is a mid poly. If you shade smooth, uh, if you shade smooth, that's gonna be the high poly, okay? I think three is high poly, so yeah. I'm gonna shade flat because we're gonna make low poly one this time. So I'm gonna go to one. All right. So there we go. That's our shoe over there. Let's set a loop cut. Control R over there. Mm -hmm. Click S M. I mean select and move it to the bottom, okay? Something over there. There we go. Look. Very nice. So now let's select this one. Go to face select. Press Alt Alt. Select the edge over there. So you got something like that. Uh, now right click, extrude face along normal. Okay. Should get something like that. Okay, just a little bit like they would do. Okay. Now let's. Uh, I'm gonna go to edge select. I don't need that one. That one or that one this one as well and this one that one too if you want to make it easier i mean a professional way mirror these shoes okay so you can do you can just do here instead of doing both okay both sides so you just do one side okay now let's press n up the mean crease mm, something like that yeah, something like that would do. And there it is. Look at that. Simple and easy low poly uh boots, okay? Not shoes. Yeah, I said shoes. I don't know. Grab it to the Y. Maybe you want some adjustment. So oh, turn this off, okay, if you want to make an adjustment. Okay, grab this to the Y. Something over there. Now let now our boot has some curve effect. Okay, so I'm gonna stick to one. If you want it up, if you want to be low poly, 
increase it to two and now that is low poly if you increase it to three that is a high poly okay or maybe mid poly or maybe whatever okay so i'm gonna go with this one okay because i like this shape yeah my liking <laughs> all right so now we have done the shape and we've done the mean crease over there but let's select all press m by distance okay we don't have doubles okay that's very good and let's solidify okay here we are how thick you want up to you oh not that one this one all right all right this one okay okay so you don't have to worry about well if you're in a high poly like this when you apply it with me and you shade smooth shade smooth you might have some edge problem there okay so you don't have to worry about that since it's low poly okay so i'm gonna stick to like that all right now we have done our model let's not apply this yet let's go to shading add some color okay select that one new base color there's a color there uh, what color i want if you want it's up to you whatever color you like okay uh what are the basic that i just um, i think yellow like that would do yeah decrease the specular i don't want too much shine if you increase shot if you increase the specular it actually mean more shine okay so i'm going to reduce that to there if you go to roughness it looks like a glassy okay so i'm going to increase the roughness something like that would do um uh i think this i'm gonna go with black oh where is that there we are so who needs to the black but not too black silverish yes there we do got the layout mode now yeah oh what here that's our shoe over there okay um, okay i'm gonna press one g z to the one or you can just manually do it so okay there we go uh-huh there we go look at that guys our shoes over there very simple and easy to find but easy to learn shift d to duplicate to make the other one and rotate it depends on well depends on perspective and there it is a simple basic shoe low poly okay so have fun blending go ahead try it yourself it's fun okay so that's all for today uh, thanks for watching i'll be seeing you next time i don't know when but soon okay bye now